Hey guys, it's Erica Galinas with Century 21 Affiliated here for our weekly market update. This week we are talking about Dyer. Um, numbers are pretty much the same. We're nice and steady in Dyer, which is always good news. Um, so this is month ending June. So everything that was sold from June 1 to June 30th in Dyer, again, all kinds of condos to mansions, everything like that. We sold 45 units of real estate in Dyer uh, for a total volume of about $15.5 million. Average sales price was $346,652. Um, average days on market, five days. So how it compares to then the month ending May, what it was closed in May, 23 units were sold in May. So we've almost doubled um, what we sold in May, which makes sense, you know, people wait, you know, for the busy season and we've had more listings just over this past few weeks. So that, that tracks. Uh, total volume was $8.4 million, which means that in uh, May, the average price was 366235 dollars average days on market six days so compared to June May is almost almost exactly um, the same in terms of days on market the average sales price went down to about $20,000 more or less um, between those two months but we did have a significant amount of sales like I said the sales almost doubled so that you know there was condos listed I think what was sold that month my numbers tell me that the cheapest one is 165,000 the most expensive one is about 850,000 so there's this big sweep of properties and then again the condos and stuff the older stuff that's selling for a little bit cheaper kind of pulled that average down um, like I said about that twenty thousand dollars but if you've been following these for a while I mean tens of thousands of dollars up and down in this kind of crazy market isn't really all that unusual um, List of sales price in May was 98.3. List of sales price in June was 99.97. Also, all of the houses that closed in, in June were only on the market from zero to 30 days. So it was either the first day on the market or the 29th day on the market, but none of the closings that closed in June, so they would have been under contract in say April, maybe the beginning of May, all of those went under contract almost immediately, less than 30 days. And for 45 houses, that's actually pretty impressive. Um, one was new construction. Again, in Dyer, we don't have a lot of uh, new construction, so 44 were existing homes, um, nine condos, townhouses, 34 single family homes. So this is a nice, you know, robust selection of houses selling. Like I said, 165 to 850, you know, nice and stable. Um, I looked at, there's something interesting then looking at the active listings. So um, one of the factors we use to see how hot a market is, is days on market. And that means from the day it's listed until the day it goes under contract um, to a buyer. And then, you know, you do home inspections and everything else. It takes a little bit longer to close, but that days on market when it's available to be purchased is from the day it's listed to the day it has a buyer under contract. So in May, it was six days on market. In June, it was five days on market. And that pretty much tracks with you know non new construction single family condos townhouses in most of the towns around us however the active listings in Dyer right now there's 33 active listings um, four of them I think are like million dollar homes so have been hanging around a little bit we'll talk about that um, the average list price is 378,000 so about um, 12,000 over May almost 30 what would that be 34,000 over June so there's some pretty high numbers average days on market 25 days which in a normal market is not an indication of anything it's actually kind of a, a pretty quick market on a, in a more you know even market certainly in a buyer's market um, but 25 days from what we've been seeing around us recently seems like kind of a high number um, there's three new construction 30 existing homes four condos or townhouses 20 29 uh, single family homes um, again I looked into it with the exception of these like four million dollar homes they're all just you know regular houses condos that are selling around that 160 number you know there's some in the six and seven hundred thousands the vast majority are from say 250 to 400 thereabouts in dire which is about what you would expect in this kind of market but that 25 days on market leads me to believe that perhaps and we'll see you know how this holds out the market has caught up to dire sellers so the the market we know the seller's market went up these prices went up properties are going out of contract in 24 hours because there were too few listings so sellers have been watching videos like this talking to their agents you know making their plans for the future and have realized hey if I sell right now I'm gonna make a zillion dollars and then I can you know like we've talked about rent for a year go move back in with mom you know buy a whole new place whatever it is um, and presumably the sellers seeing the comparable sales 
to to their houses for similar houses are seeing these you know pretty significant listing price increases so now they are coming on the market um quite a few 33 active listings in dyer which i mean obviously dyer is a huge town but with our listing inventory crisis 33 is a decent number particularly since only three of them are new construction so they're like hey well this house just like mine just i'll make up numbers just sold for three hundred fifty thousand, and this house kind of like mine but a little bit bigger just sold for 370 so i'm gonna list mine for 365 and we end up in a situation where this average days on market goes from five days to six days to 25 days. Now, again, that's an average. Um, I looked through it. A lot of times you'll see like one house or two houses that have just been on the market for like 200 some days. They're, you know, the seller's optimistic, overly optimistic, and they just kind of hang around. We don't really have too many of those there. I think we're a couple were on the market for over 100 days, so just over three months. Um, a lot of them, you know, the, obviously there were some newer listings that had only been in the market three or four days, but the majority of the listings that averaged out to 25 days on market. So we may be seeing in Dyer, we saw a little bit of it in the Crown Point update I did a couple weeks ago. Now we're maybe seeing in Dyer the fact that these listing prices are just a touch too high for the buyer market. Um, buyers also have options like sellers a lot of times well I don't have to sell buyers a lot of times are like well I don't have to buy I'll stay where I am I'll renew my lease for another 12 months whatever it is so they're coming up against these higher prices and they're like eh, you know what I'm gonna take a breather for a while this might be what we're seeing in the dire market this is the first indication we have of this so we'll have to keep an eye on it going forward not just in dire but in this the you know mid to South Lake County area that I cover um, but this could be the start of a regular market which if you're a seller, still kind of good because if you're selling, you got to buy. So this is everybody just a nice sigh of relief. Things are calming down a little bit. Things are becoming more predictable in all facets of our life. Um, and then we have foreclosures coming up, presumably in the next, say, six months to kind of further even this out. This is good news. Again, if you are a seller in a tight position and you can do whatever you want and sell and you don't have to worry about buying, this is not the greatest news for you. But I know very few sellers who are in that situation because, you know, you got to have some place to live. Um, but again, the price, I mean, the average list price is 378, the average sales price 346. Not a huge difference, but that days on market is a little bit higher, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Um, in terms of pending listings in Dyer right now, so these are ones that have a buyer under contract, but they haven't closed yet. 57 pending listings, average price, we won't know what they sell for until they close, but the average price is 334, 334,000, which is now then another $12,000 less than the average in June. This could go up because the average days on market for these pending this is nine days, which means that probably a lot of them ended up in bidding wars and they may be selling for more than um, their list price. But 3349 is the average listing price on these houses. Again, two new construction, 55 existing homes, uh, 10 condos and townhouses, 47 single family homes. So we're still seeing this nice, you know, diverse type of homes being sold. We just have to pay attention to see if but like I said, prices are going to um, level out and we'll be able to see some of that with these pendings as well. Um, I don't, not really too much news. I, when we talked about Munster um, last week, there were a number of houses that I noticed in Munster um, and in Cherville then two weeks ago that are above the million dollar mark. For our purposes, in, in case of Dyer, about 850,000. Um, these houses are staying on the market quite some time. Again, comparatively so. Um, the average days on market for there's, I think, four or five million dollar homes in Dyer listed for sale right now. So active listings, they have been on the market for 196 days. Um, one of them I think was just listed like three days ago or six days ago. But the other four, you know, have been listed for, you know, 196, 200 plus days. There is a very soft market for these luxury homes right now. I, like I said last week, you know, these people are looking, you know, our tax numbers are great in terms of property tax amounts, but they also look at, you know, park system, libraries, schools, you know, closeness to family or work or something like that. Some of them seem to not be very interested in these million dollar homes we have in our area. So that's something we're gonna to have to take a look at as well. Um, I will say that there were two million dollar homes um, under contract, they haven't closed yet. One was 1.1 million and one was like 890 or something like that. But I mean, these are luxury homes. Both of them had been nicely updated. Um, a lot of our luxury home uh, inventory that we have in the area were built in eh, mid 90s to the mid 2000s, something like that. So these big, 5,000 square foot, you know, some people call them McMansions, um, very nice homes, 
but they were built, you know, 20 some years ago, almost 30 years ago now. So what we may be running into, like I said, the two that are under under contract, one is only 14 days. Uh, the two that are under contract are very nicely updated. You know, the white kitchens, the gray walls, um, you know, some of the, the newer wallpaper designs and things like that. Um, the bathrooms certainly were updated, you know, they still had double sinks, but they weren't wood cabinets. They, you know, still had showers, but they were more walk-in tiled showers versus, you know, the designs that were popular in the 90s and early 2000s. So that may be another wrinkle for the luxury homeowners who are trying to sell that people who are, I mean, people who are spending a million dollars expect their house to be ready to go. So when you have houses that are 20 or 30 years out of date, great condition, beautiful homes, great layouts, people are going to be a little weird about spending that much money on a home that's not updated. Um, so we may see that some of these million dollar homes that have been on the market for this almost 200 days come off the market. They do a little bit of updating and then they come back on the market. Because honestly, with a can of paint and, you know, a quick kitchen or bathroom, you know, re you can make your whole house look different. Um, but so we may see that, like I said, because we're seeing this now in Cherville, in Munster and in Dyer, that these luxury houses are staying on the market. Um, so that's what I have for Dyer. Like I said, the interesting thing, we have a nice diverse housing stock. We have a lot of information that's applicable to a lot of different kind of homes. And it looks in terms of our active listings like we're spending 25 average days on market. So we will see price drops perhaps. We will see you know newer listings coming on and hopping back off. Maybe you might see newer listings coming on and sticking around a while because their comps aren't matching with the reality of what buyers are willing to pay right now. Um, so again, this isn't bad. We're not having a market crash. There's no bubble popping or anything like that. This is just returning to a more regular real estate market, which benefits everybody. Um, so if you have any questions, if you, uh, you know, live in Dyer or you think about selling or buying in Dyer, no problem anywhere around the area, give me a call anytime, 219-765-2062. You can also text me if that's easier. Um, you can send me an email at hsbyerica at gmail.com. That stands for Home Sales by Erica um, at gmail.com. I always have all my videos posted on um, my website, homesalesbyerica.com. You can go back and look at like the shareable market update I referenced from a few weeks ago, all my buyer and seller tips, everything like that. If you know somebody who's thinking about, um, you know, selling a dyer, uh, maybe moving to dyer or this Northwest Indiana, please share this video with them. Let them know if they have any questions to contact me. Um, and then like and subscribe to my channel. I do these market updates once a week and do my Ask the Agents on Thursdays. And I'm always happy to help you guys. Thanks a lot. You have guys have a good Tuesday. Bye-bye. Hey guys, I'm glad you're enjoying my videos. If you have any questions about buying or selling, but I'm not in your area, I have connections to an international network of realtors who would be happy to help. Give me a call, text me anytime, 219-765-2062. I'll be happy to give you the name of a realtor in your area. Thanks.